What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the McFarlane Batman from the classic TV series. Alright guys, as you can see, this is the Batman from Wave 2 of McFarlane. Much like the Joker, all they really did was give him the swim trunks. But it's still kind of cool. So like always guys, we start off with the packaging so you got a nice clear opening in the front so you can see the whole figure and his accessories got that classic cardboard back got a nice picture in the back of the figure and some of the accessory uh, some of the things you can buy with him and then the barcode all right that's it so let's get him out all right so first is the accessories and he's got kapow and he's also got Pow. I guess Kapow is more powerful than Pow. But, yeah, so that's it for accessories, guys. All right, so this is the figure out of the package, and this is just a quick glimpse from afar of the front. And a quick glimpse from afar of the back. So now we're going to bring him in closer and get a closer look at him. All right, so first up is the face sculpt. Or the mask, I should say, the cowl. Okay, it's got the, the lines over the eyes. I mean, looks looks pretty good. Got the little points on the top. Got the bat symbol, gray, and the blue. Yellow with the gold buckle there. And there's the swim trunks. Man, these guys had some funny swim trunks. Like, I think, is that supposed to be the Batmobile? It's probably supposed to be the Batmobile. And then there's the cape. As you guys can see, it's a cloth cape. Which is nice. I, I, I don't mind the cloth capes. It's kind of cool looking. And then the boots. So cool. It's funny. I never noticed how short Batman's cape was in the old TV show. Like, it only comes to the back of the knee. He has a, it, It's like Superman's cape, because Superman's cape only comes to about that, too. I guess it wasn't until later on that they made the cape come way down. Because if I'm not mistaken, isn't Batman's cape, like, down to the ankle? And then Superman's is, like, to the boot line, I think? All right, anyway, enough of that. Let's, uh, let's now check out the articulation on this guy. Head moves. Wow, this guy moves a lot better so far than the previous Joker. Look at this. So much... Di Dude, so much easier. Look at that. Did you, If you guys haven't seen my other video of the Joker in the swim trunks, go check it out because it is so much... I struggle with that guy for the articulation on him. I don't know what was going on, but look how smoothly that moves. Single joint elbows and the wrists. Oh, not the wrist, I'm sorry, the, the whole glove turns. There we go. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, man, this guy moves so much smoother. Like, I don't know why the Joker gave me so much trouble. The, there we go, he twists. Twists. And the legs. Oh, a little stiff on the hips, but there you go. And then, will you go back? No, you will not. <sighs> yes, yes, he will. Yes, he will. There we go. There we go. I knew you could do it. Then the knee. Got a nice bend in the knee there. Very smooth, very nice. And then you got the... It does the same thing where it twists at the knee. It's kind of cool, though. I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. So this is all one piece. This does not... The ankle does not separately twist. So the good thing about it is that, in my opinion, anyway, it looks a lot better. I love how it's just one piece. You know what I mean? Like, when you, you get the boot, it comes down. You get some wrinkles here. And then it just continues on. Whereas a lot of figures that have the movement in the ankle, you know, a lot of times when you come down here, you see that bulge or that 
joint or you know this something it, it it kind of it kind of almost like ruins the illusion i guess is what i'm trying to say once again i know why they do it so that way you can twist the, the feet and turn it and bend the ankle and bring it up and down and all kinds of stuff i get it but i'm just saying based on like just how it looks in my opinion this looks much much nicer on the eyes where it's just one piece like that i like that i really like how it's just one piece but once again, if you're into figure photography or you're the kind of person that poses your guys, that that would be very bad for you because all you can really do with Batman is twist, you know, the whole entire front, and now you got this, so that's kind of ugly in its own right. So I get it. Me though, I'm most likely gonna keep them just standing straight up museum style. So having the foot like that is way more appealing to my eyes. As opposed to having like the, the, you know, the joints all here ruining it for me. But just a minor thing. But alright guys, that's the, uh, it's just a quick little video. This thing, I, I know he's been out for a while. Just wanted to give you my thought. Oh jeez, it looks like his arm's broken. Let's fix that a little bit. What in the heck is going on here? Okay, let's bring that arm back in. There we go. Alright, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it. Like I said, I know this has been out for a while, but you know what, I kind of I kind of do things at my own pace, you know? I don't always rush out to show, like, you know, get the newest and greatest. I kind of do things, I kind of like doing things, like, later on after the hype or the opinions kind of fade. I mean, that's why if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you'll see gameplay that, I, that I'm doing of games that are, like, older games, you know? I, I kind of like uh, almost being late to the party and kind of uh, seeing how, when the hype dies down, my own opinion on it. Because, uh, you know, hype sometimes ruins ruins things for you. You know, you're expecting A and, you you know, maybe your expectations was, was too high. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, I've seen this guy a few times in the store. I, I didn't bother picking him up until now. I picked him up along with the Joker. Uh, they were both on sale for like $12 or $12.50. As opposed to the eighteen, nineteen, twenty dollar price point, um, my thoughts on him. I mean, he looks exactly like the Batman. It, the only difference is the trunks. So that's my thoughts, anyway. I mean, you know what? Do I? Ha I think I have the Batman here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> I do actually have the Batman. So there you go. You guys can see for yourselves. You know what I mean? Is it the same? I mean, it looks the same to me. Looks the exact same to me. I don't see really any difference. And once again, he put this one right in wave two. I don't know why he didn't wait till at least wave three to do it. Maybe the blue is a little lighter? Is No, see, that's just the lighting. I don't know. Either way, I think it's cool. I mean, you know, it's, you, know you can kind of uh, have the original one and then have him in swim trunks, you know? So it's kind of cool. I don't mind. Whatever. It's kind of kind of shows off the goofiness of the... Uh, the original show, because I believe the original show was very, like, light-hearted and very, um, I don't know, just, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it didn't take itself too serious, that's why you had Batman dress up like this, like, could you imagine now getting a Batman movie where, like, you know, uh, uh, what's his name, Christian Bale or, like, Michael Keaton had to dress up with swim trunks, that would never happen, you know, so I feel like back then it was more, like, fun and stuff and uh, more, like, goofy, and uh, nowadays, Batman's much more serious and much more, um, less Sherlock Holmes, I guess. So, yeah, so there you go, guys. I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. I know it's an old figure, but like I said, I, I recently got him. So to me, he's new. He's not old to me. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that other good YouTube stuff. And I'll uh, catch you guys on the next one. Later, guys.